Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I got my hair cut, finally. Um, I thought I would just hop on here and share the cut with you guys. I know I get a lot of questions about how it's cut, um, if I can send pictures, you know, all that kind of stuff, how you can get this cut from your hairstylist. So what I would suggest is, the easiest way, um, if you have a phone that can access the internet, like an iPhone or an iPad or, you know, something like that, uh, Blackberry, things like those, you can, Get on the internet when you're at your stylist. Um, get on the internet, go to YouTube, and look for, just type in the Style Chronicles hair. This video should pop up, and you can show them this video. And I will turn around right now so that you can see every side of it, um, and that should give them an idea of what you want. Um, the other thing that I would stress is a lot of people want to layer the back or layer this and that is not um, this is not how my hair is cut in the back it is a special um, I know other stylists are capable of, of doing this too I go to a Paul Mitchell school to get my hair cut um, it is one of the only places that I know of that teaches a triangular graduation which is how they cut the back and it is literally a triangle that they create back here and then they cut kind of up from there and it is just a very specialized technique that Paul Mitchell has. I don't go anywhere else for that reason. Anytime that I have tried to go somewhere else to get my hair cut, like if I'm in a hurry or you know, the Paul Mitchell school here in Houston is a little far from where I am. It's kind of out in Katy and I'm um, kind of closer to downtown Houston. So it's a little bit of a drive and anytime I have tried to go elsewhere and explain the cut, I end up leaving because I'm like, no, 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 never mind. Just, you know, I, I can't really explain it to you guys and I don't want, you know, I always get, oh no, it's just layered. We'll just layer it. No, it's not. It's not layered. My hair is cut in three sections. This back section is a one part. This top section is another part. And then these two sides that you see is a completely, you know, it's another section. So it is kind of cut a certain way. Now, um, back here, it is stacked up so that it kind of poofs. You guys can see this, how my hair kind of stacks so that it can poof. Now, I like to, when I dress up, I like to poof this up a lot so that I have a bump. And you have to have that hair back here built up so that it will push your hair up if you want that. Okay, and the other thing too is you have to be a little particular about your slope, which is right here. You can see the angle. I am very, very particular about this. Um, I will literally sit there and, and point out everything that I dislike, every hair that I dislike, until it is the way, you know, that I like it. It's just a very angled, you know, I like the roundness and then just a very dramatic kind of slope. Next is these ends, once they are cut, they go back in, the stylist goes back in and point cuts these so that it breaks them up a little weight-wise. And that's how I get those little, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but they're like little, you know, jagged teeth kind of where it's just broken up a little. The other thing is once it's cut this way, my hair will look like a mushroom because I have very, very thick hair. I always say my hair is curly and it, it, it is very wavy curly. Um, of course, I straighten it every morning, so when my hair is wet, the curls are not as full and bouncy as they have always been when I would wear it curly when it was long. Um, from straightening it, it's kind of broken down some of those curls a little bit, so it's a little less curly, but more wavy and very frizzy. Um, so there's a lot of weight in my hair, and it's literally poofed out a lot. Once the overall cut is complete, the hairstylist always has to go back in and thin out a lot of the weight. And by thin out, there are thinning shears that it's a very particular um, scissor that they use. Thinning shears that they will go in and thin out my hair. And it looks like they're taking chunks out, literally, when they thin. It, chunks of hair will fall out. And that is just hair that is, you know, weight. And it really does kind of um, sleek it down a lot. Over the ears right here, you have to be careful about the weight because your ears will pop out your hair a little bit. Um, so right here, they do thin a lot. I do get it thinned out a little bit here just so that it lays a little nicer. And then as well, you know, they do, they do thin this out usually a lot. So I, um, I, I have the kind of hair that they can go thin crazy uh, when they thin out. Sometimes stylists are very um, leery of thinning hair out, especially if you have thin hair, they don't want to thin you out any because it, your hair would just look very, very thin. Um, so 
the thicker your hair, the more thinning I would suggest you would probably need. I know I need a considerate amount of thinning when I get my hair cut. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, other than, you know, I, like I said, I go to a Paul Mitchell school and they cut it there because they have that specialized kind of technique and that's what I like and I don't really have to explain too much because the, the students already know or you know the teachers already know so they pretty much can do it on their own but I do have to communicate what I like and what I don't like you know if they're done and to them it might look wonderful to me I'm like no this this right here I can't have this much weight here you know I can't have um, this can't be too weighty this slope needs to be higher you have to communicate you have to tell them what you like and what you don't like about your cut um, or it will get away from you very fast so that is what I can say now as far as the actual cut I will turn around very slowly play this part for them if you need to and um, ask them you know for that so that's uh, that's just what my suggestion um, it might not be the easiest way for you but my suggestion is that and I will turn around slowly so you guys can see And um, let me just show you the back really quickly. This is the back in here, how it's kind of cut. You guys can see that, the top here, and then all the sides. And like I said, I like this bumped up a little bit, so if I want some extra volume, I can tease it up a little bit, and it bumps up very nicely to give me just some added height. Now, if I was to tease it right here and bump it up, it would look really pretty and full. Um, but every day, you know, I just kind of like it just like that. Um, so, okay, <laughs> that is that. I know I did promise some pictures to several people. I have your email addresses. I will have my husband take those pictures tonight so I can send them to you. I am so sorry that it has taken so long. It has been six months since I've had a hair trim, and um, the reason for that is I have a cowlick right here. If um, the hairstylist that cuts my hair is not mindful of it, um, it will literally pop like this. I mean, it just looks odd, and last time my hair was cut, um, the stylist kind of forgot about that, and it was not a great cut at all. So, you know, this way it's concealed, and even, you know, in the mornings after laying down on my pillow, my cowlick is still con still manageable because it's just cut the right way. Um, so, yeah, I was very leery about sending pictures to anybody of a cut that I was not too proud of myself. So, I will get those pictures to you, and I apologize once again for the delay and, you know, as well as all the questions that I get from people um, that just like the cut or want to get the cut and don't know how to explain it or show, you know, to their stylist. Hopefully this video and the hair show <laughs> will help you. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.